Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, we'll be taking a quick look at Pebble OS 4.0 for the Pebble Time series, and more specifically, the Pebble Time Round. So here, we're gonna take a look at some of the new features of the timeline, I guess some of the menus, and, oh, what was that last thing? Ah yes, the health zone. And of course, our new quick launch buttons as well, but we'll take a look at the timeline. So currently, when you press the down button, you can still see the future events of your timeline, quite fine. And if we go back up uh, past that, we can now see our new health zone, which tells us our daily steps and of course our sleep. Now if you click on the uh, OK button here, or the select button, we can go into an advanced menu telling us more details about today's sleep session. And of course, previous uh, sleep sessions are going back until about last week, so Saturday, because today is Friday. And if we go back, and we can take a look at the steps one. It's quite similar. We have our calories and distance for today, and of course our 30 day average. And of course we can take a look at previous steps. Of course 4,000 Thursday, 8,000. So you can see all that until last week pretty much. Now that is about it for our health zone area. Now I heard some of the people saying that the icons could do a little bit better of an adjustment here. Maybe make that like a circle or something. But we'll see when time goes. So. Another new thing is, or something they've changed, is the menu. When we hit select on the watch face, we are gone, we've gone away with the cards, and we're now here with little entries, giving us a little bit more details, actually, a, more, a lot more detail about what's playing and whatnot. Uh, music is still the same, I'm not connected to my phone at the moment, and we've got notifications, and alarms, messages, and watch faces. So we can change those around in the Pebble app on our device on our phone and of course you can change watch faces here but they only store a couple on there I think so that's fine and one last thing that I'd like to have a look is the new quick launch functions previously there was only I think the up and down and of course the back one but now you can set all of those to do different things so if we hold that uh, the back button it's usually our quiet time and if we hold our top one we can actually select a quick launch uh, settings for each of our buttons. So I think we can do this inside the settings app on our watch as well But here the up button is disabled the center button is disabled down button is disabled and the back button is set for quiet time as per default So we can change all of those now. So the back button we could do uh, We can do motion backlight or we could turn on airplane mode or even head to our settings. So we're going to select that and our center button can be used to activate our motion backlight and our up button can be used to go into quiet time and then our down button can be used to go into let's just say the weather so if we hit back now all of these will be set so if we hold the back button now that gets us straight into the settings and which you could probably change here in the quick launch menu just like that so we'll head back to our watch face again and we're going to hit the the up button and that'll start our quiet time automatically without pressing yes and we'll also end our quiet time now we can press the center button to turn off motion backlight and hold it again to turn on motion backlight so when we shake it it lights up the screen and last but not least when we hold down it should take us to the weather and it tells us it's going to be raining today and well, not tomorrow which is great so that is a quick overview and one of the last thing I'd like to mention is that that quick um, menu here that pops up I was demonstrated, it's hard to explain, but uh, if I just grab a picture of it and hopefully I'll be able to show you uh, what I'm talking about. But basically when you have a new event or a message come up like that, uh, you should be able to see it come up on the bottom half of the screen. Now that's only available on the square watches here as it would probably take up too much room on the Pebble Time round here with its smaller watch face. Now here on my phone, if you can see that, uh, it should look a little something like that. Just pop up on the lower third of the screen uh, with any details that are coming up. But unfortunately, that is unavailable in the Pebble Time round for, I guess, some obvious reasons. But I guess there's no harm in adding that as a separate option. Well, thanks for watching, guys. This has just been a quick video of the overview of the features here on the new Pebble OS 4.0 update. Now, the companion app with the phone as well also received a little bit of a makeover, especially just on the, I think it was just the health tab, if we quickly switch over. 
uh, we can now just see it's done a little bit better I think and it looks something like that with some revamped icons at the top and these icons have done a makeover as well and maybe our notifications I'm not too sure about that so thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you all in the next video